happen is 2035. How colleges and universities decide who is admitted is up to the Supreme Court. A decision could come as early as this week. Today, two familiar names came to town to support the use of affirmative action when vetting students. WRL's Monica Casey spoke with those for and against the policy. The University of North Carolina is at the center of one of the cases in front of the Supreme Court. Advocates of affirmative action say race is just one factor being considered in the admissions process, but opponents say it shouldn't even be part of the discussion. When you can see a court. The Just Majority campaign's national bus tour stopped in Chapel Hill today. Reverend Al Sharpton and Martin Luther King III are leading calls to expand the Supreme Court. They also want to keep affirmative action. The problem if the court rules that race cannot be a factor, it will overlap even out of education because then the private sector can say we can't consider race with contracts. We can't consider race with uh, our board uh, makeup. It's a complicated issue. WREL state government reporter Will Doran points out the majority of Americans are against the practice. Over 70% of the country says that we should not be using race in admissions, and that includes uh, nearly 80% of white people and also nearly 60% of black people. Kenny Shu is a board member of Students for Fair Admissions. He tells me he believes race should not be a factor in college decision making. I agree. I think we do need to help black children specifically. I don't think college is a place to do that because at that point you've already reached, you know, your cognitive ability basically. We're, we're, what we need to do is we need to reform our K-12 education system. In Chapel Hill, Monica Casey, WREL News. A ruling against UNC and Harvard would not only stop affirmative action in schools, it could open the door for future lawsuits to challenge its use in hiring as well.